Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which I will teach you how to create a full backup of your email. First, you need to go to File menu. And from there, you need to go to the Account settings. And in the Account settings, now after clicking on Account settings, click Account settings again. From there, you must go to the data files. Select the account that you want to take a backup from. Now we have two accounts here. Once you click on it, click Open File Location. Now when you click Open File Location, you will get this folder. As you can see, Microsoft Outlook App Data, and we have the Outlook Email .ost. It's around 130 megabyte. And you can see our my other email is about 9 gigabyte. That's why it took so long to, uh, let's say, sync this email. So depending on how many emails you have, you might get different backup size. Now it is recommended to close Outlook in order for this operation to happen successfully. Now this is the backup file. Copy the file. Right click and select copy and paste it wherever you want. Let's say that we want to paste it inside our document folder, Outlook, Backup. Now inside here, paste the file and make sure that it is .ost file. Now, if you want to restore this file or this backup file, you must go and open up Outlook in any new device that you might have then you need to do a few simple steps. The first step is going to the file menu, open and export, open Outlook data file. Once you click here, you can simply go to the backup file that you just created. And we already created that file inside the documents. We called it Outlook files. And inside here we have the backup we have another folder which is called Outlook Backup. Inside the documents, we can head over to that folder. You can select all files and double click this file. Now, once you double click it, you'll be able to see it inside your new Outlook. You will be able to download the attachments, read the emails, but you won't be able to use it normally like if it was added using the Add Account option right here. Now, if you want to use it as a normal account, you must use the add account option by going to file. Now we have another error. Okay, yes. Now go to file, add account, and you can start adding accounts. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. This is Ashraf. See you in another lesson.